Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how you can access DynamoDB table from within private subnets. When you provision DynamoDB table, it is not part of VPC. It is part of AWS network, but not part of your VPC. So any request to connect to DynamoDB table actually goes through internet. Now it's easy to access this table if your client or application is running within public subnet because in public subnet you will have internet gateway attached to your routes so you can easily access the table but for security reasons applications are normally deployed in private subnets one way is that you provision net gateway in public subnet and let the application running in private subnet connect to net gateway and then connect to dynamodb table but if you do not want to have net gateway then also there is a way to do that and that is vpc endpoints so we can create a VPC endpoint to connect to DynamoDB table from private subnet. So in today's demo setup, we'll follow this diagram. We'll have a DynamoDB table with some data. We'll create a VPC endpoint for this table. We'll have two public subnets and private subnets. One of the public subnet will have a EC2, which will act as a bastion server through which we'll connect to the EC2 instance on the private subnet. Our client, which wants to access this table will be running on this EC2 instance. And then we will try to see whether we are able to access data from this table without any net gateway just by using VPC endpoint. So let's get started. I'm assuming that you already know how to create subnets in VPC, how to create EC2 instance in public and private subnet. So I will directly jump onto EC2 instance and we'll see how to create VPC endpoint and access DynamoDB table. So let's log into AWS console, go to EC2, and you can see I already have two instances, one bastion, and this one is in public subnet. It has got a public IP address for it, and here you can see the subnet, which is pub, public, and another one is EC2 test private subnet, which has only private IP, no public IP to it, and also, it has a role assigned, DynamoDB access EC2 role. This role gives access to this EC2 instance to do operations on behalf of the client. So it can assume this role, which has full access to DynamoDB. And in trust relationship, you can see EC2 has got this trust created. So we will now log into Bastion and then access private EC2 instance. I will use Putty to connect to Bastion server. So I already configured here and I have attached the PPK file, private key file to authenticate. So it's connected now. And from here we will SSH into our private is private instance. So we are in and here I have already copied the client and I'm using Python client. So you can see these are the scripts and the first script, which is this one. This script will create a DynamoDB table by name try dex table. So we'll try to run this now. So let's see what happens when we try to run this script which will try to connect to DynamoDB service to create a table and you see it's not doing anything right now and the reason being the instance is in private subnet there is no net gateway DynamoDB is sitting outside VPC so th there should be a connection through internet which is not possible right now so we'll go back to AWS console and we'll create VPC endpoint for DynamoDB service now so let's go back to AWS VPC under VPC endpoints create endpoint let's call it dynamo DB endpoint under AWS service search for dynamo DB select and this is the gateway select the VPC and select the route so I will select the private route I will provide full access you can actually create as required the custom access 
create endpoint and it's immediately available so we'll go back to our party connection and here see the connection is immediately made now and it is trying to create the table so you can see table is created let's see other scripts so another script is to create some data so we'll create some data into this table so it has created data now we'll try to query this data so this will get the items from the table and you can see it immediately gets the data as well so that's it for this session it is easier to use VPC endpoint to access DynamoDB table and that secures your connection and keeps the traffic within the AWS network. I hope this will help you to set up your VPC endpoint. We'll see you in the next session. Thanks for watching this.